would you rather have, Lamar Jackson or Joe Burrow? Here's what I'm going to say, Molly. I like Joe Burrow, but I'm not going to be a prisoner of the moment either. I love Lamar Jackson. Ever since he's come into this league, the only thing he's done is go to the playoffs, mm -hmm. win a playoff game, continue to get better. We've had this conversation many times, Stephen A., mm -hmm. about Lamar Jackson's ability to throw the football. Mm -hmm. The moment y'all say he can't throw from in the pocket, the man has complete 60-some percent of 68% of his passes from inside the pocket. Mm -hmm. When they say he couldn't, and all he's doing is showing you different. Mm -hmm. Yes, they got Sherlock by the Cincinnati Bengals. Mm -hmm. Big deal. Mm -hmm. So what? Mm -hmm. That's not that big of a deal. Right. He didn't play bad. He didn't right. play great. Right. But in, at the same time, mm -hmm. there's probably three, maybe four quarterbacks that I would take over Joe Burrow post Patrick Mahomes entering the NFL. What I mean by that is Mahomes came in at 17. Anybody after 18, mm -hmm. I would take would be Josh Allen, Kyler Murray, Lamar Jackson, and Justin Herbert. Those would be the guys that I would take before I even get to Joe Burrow. Mm -hmm. Okay? And Lamar Jackson is in front of that line. I don't understand when you look at a dynamic playmaker, both with his legs and his arm, defeating and beating all odds against him consistently, mm -hmm. and has his team in a position to make a strong playoff run, why is that a problem? Well, first of all, I don't think it's a problem, and that's why I think you're wrong, because you're getting all emotional about it, and that's fine. I ain't crying. I, mean, I understand that. That don't mean you, don't mean you ain't got to cry to be emotional now. We all know that. But here's the reality of the situation. Lamar Jackson is sensational. Nobody's taking that away from him. And just because you say you take somebody else is not to denigrate Lamar Jackson like he's some scrub. This brother's a former league MVP, and he's, Absolutely. he's box office, by the way. Absolutely. As far as I'm concerned, he deserves more money than Josh Allen. And Josh Allen's getting six years, $258 million. I get all of that. But what I'm saying is, from the quarterback position, when you sit back and you watch somebody be a pure passer, when you look at them, I just believe, I just believe, Right now, Joe Burrow appears to be that guy. Now, can Lamar Jackson prove me wrong? Sure he can. When I see him do it in the playoffs, that's you what I'm saying. You ain't seen Joe Excuse Burrow me. do nothing. He ain't even I, I, made the playoffs. That, well, that's why I'm – this is only his second year. Last year was his rookie year. He got hurt his rookie year, Keyshawn. I mean, damn, he's a puppy. He's just getting started. Stephen so what a, Hold on, wait a minute. Wait no, a minute. man, I Talk can't about, let you do this, No, no, though. yes, you can. On your yes, show. You can. Yes, on your can. own yes, show, Yeah, you absolutely can let me do that. And here's why you can let me do that. Because you brought Justin Herbert into the equation. He ain't been in the playoffs either. Last year was his rookie year. And he had this rookie year, and then he has this year. So what right. I'm saying is, when he's been on the field, you're going by what you see to elevate Justin Herbert. I can do that about Joe Burrow. And I say you couldn't. I'm just saying you are wrong to I'm think that. I'm not wrong. Okay. I'm not wrong. But go ahead. I don't, I don't think that there's today. Okay. I don't think there's 30 other teams in the National Football League that wouldn't take Lamar Jackson over Joe Burrow. I, and, and listen, you know what? I'm not going to dispute that. What I'm saying to you is this. You're going to take Lamar Jackson because of the electrifying overall so why talent. why are we even having this conversation? Because, because, the, because you saw me yesterday talking about Joe Burrow strictly as a passer, and you took issue with so that. Let me, let me so ask my point you, is that's why so we started off with this. Let me ask you this, big bro. Yes, let sure. me ask you this. Sure. So, Molly, too, if... Lamar Jackson is completing, I don't know, 68% of his passes. He's at 64.9%. Okay, it yeah. dropped They're because it dropped. Yes. Let's just he's use at 68. 60. No, <laughs> Burrow's at 68. He's at 65. I have all the numbers. Burrow's at 69. 69. They okay. both have a 60 so, QBR. They have the same amount of yards. If they were not there dropping passes at an alarming rate. You've been saying that a while now. What? You've been saying that around. It has happened, but they've caught some passes too. Yes, bad. and it elevated it. But that Detroit, that Detroit game? When they was out that there was a bad, fumbling that was a, and dumbling? That was a bad game, absolutely. And so my whole point is, you right. say completing passes. If they were, if they were at 70%, mm -hmm. is that a problem? What you want them to be at, 85%? No, no. What do you want them no, to be no, at then? No, Tell no. me. Again, it's not about a number. I'm compared, because it this has is what, to be about a number, Let me finish. Stephen, eh? This is what you're missing. Lamar Jackson, the stud that he is. Mm -hmm. Why do I keep bringing up Mahomes, Josh Allen, Joe Burrow, people, Justin Herbert, people mm -hmm. like that? Mm -hmm. Derek Carr, even. Mm -hmm. They're Ooh, okay. Let me finish. We can go there later. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> they're standing there in the same conference. See, if this was something where they'd never meet one another and we could just speculate, I get your point. Mm -hmm. But what I'm trying to say is that at some point in time, 
for Lamar Jackson to get to the promised land, mm -hmm. the likelihood is he's going to have to go through them to do and it. Gotta and they got to go through him. And they got to go through him. Absolutely. So, so what I'm saying to you is I'm looking at it from that perspective, not taking anything away from his greatness, but I'm simply pointing out when you've got so a you don't think good, he can do it. I'm not saying that. I'm saying until he does, this is what I think. And when I think about Joe Burrow throwing the football, mm -hmm. I have more confidence in him okay. purely throwing the football. Okay, I'm going to say, say, say one no, no, thing. I'm going to say one thing. We're going to let you go, Molly. Keyshawn, give me your one major point on why you like Lamar better. He's saying it's throwing the football. Give because us your one major reason why. Because I feel like no matter what the situation is, yep. I'm always in it. No matter what okay. the situation is. Rain, so he's a snow. playmaker. And... And Joe Burrow got way better skill position weapons. That is true. And Lamar okay. is still out there cooking. Hold on, wait a minute, Stop wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, no, I'm letting Molly see. move on. Don't, you yeah, lose. Yeah, we are moving on. Hey, Lou. Oh, my God. I ain't going to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.